We're going to start things off today in double A because Matt Walner was added again to lead off the game here for the wind surge. Here's Tim Grubbs on the mic. Walner rudely awakened him into a game the other day with a home run. Here's a fly ball. Well hit right center field. He's going to do it again. Matt Walner opened up the game against Fott on Monday night with a home run. And he does it again today. A home run over the right center field. And it was majestic. A beautiful home run to right center field. 107 miles per hour off the bat. And it travels 432 feet. Home run, Matt Walner. He's closing in on the league lead. Walner gets his 21st home run, two away from the leaderboard. He leads the league with 59 runs batted in. One nothing surge. And man, is Matt Walner on some kind of a tear. Got off to a slow start in April, but kind of started to pick up toward the end of the month there. You see he had a 741 OPS there. And then pushed his OPS over 900 in May. And you're thinking like, wow, that's that's amazing. He did even better, a 1,200 OPS, a 500 OBP, and a 700 slugging percentage in the month of June, and he has kept it going so far in July. Just a guy who's just obliterating uh, pitching in double-A right now. Moving over to Cedar Rapids, and Thomas Breach on the call. Now Christian blasts the ball very high down the left field line. It's hooking, and it is fair. Bombs away! Christian Encarnacion strand. That's Encarnacion Strand's 18th home run of the season for Cedar Rapids. Here's that swing again. Got around on this one uh, way high. Luckily, it stayed fair and went out of the stadium. Uh, but here's a bat flip that was shared uh, by Mitch Fick. So he's having a good time down there. The Twins managed to win 6-5. to five. Dylan Bundy picked up a win, and Tyler Duffy earned the save. I feel like you're getting away with something when that's the case. Uh, Byron Buxton with an opposite field home run here uh, early. Ryan Jeffers with the go-ahead home run to the opposite field a little bit later. That put up the Twins up for good, thankfully. Uh, they got their sixth run on this errant pickoff throw. There was a guy on third base when this pickoff throw happened. So that's how they got their sixth and deciding run. Uh, but Texas only scored their fifth run because this ball bounces out of Gilberto Celestino's glove. Take another look at that. He had it, and then he didn't. Ugh. So close, but luckily the Twins win. Uh, the Colonels also won. Saints and Windsurge lose. Muscles were postponed. Taking a look at the pitching breakdown again, the Twins got a victory with Dylan Bundy on the mound. That always feels like, uh, again, you're getting away with something there. Didn't pitch great, but well enough to win. The bullpen only gave up that one run, that Celestino bounced off the glove home run. Uh, so tip of, cap, tip of the cap to the pen today. And then here are some of the notable hitting per performances. Wander Javier hit a go-ahead home run in the eighth inning for the win, for, excuse me, for the Colonels. And Buxton, Jeffers, Hamilton, Terry, Walner, Bechtold, Encarnacion, Strand, and Javier all hit home runs. Thank you so much for watching this. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk again soon.